Welcome to the game of Risk, everyone. I'm your host, Olive XC, a top player at this game. And today, we are doing something I didn't think I would be doing on this channel. Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals. May this game not go for six hours. All right, it looks like purple is going for this region here, Southeastern Europe. So based on this, on turn one, I'm going to focus on getting the Nineric Alps and then try to expand towards Central Europe next. Okay, Purple also gave the uh, the Fist Pound, so they'll be leaving me alone. So I, I it looks like since I'm not seeing most of the players, I see three caps. Those remaining caps are probably in the Southwestern Europe, Western Europe, British Empire, Iceland area. Interesting... Blue not taking over this area? Okay, I get seven. Okay. Blue is leaving the extra three on Lebanon, so they may have to, they want to go through my twos. That could be uh, annoying if that's the case. But for now, we're just going to focus on, yeah, on just like a holding down our region and leaving it down with, like, with nice threes for a good guard. So we're not invading purple. Purple doesn't invade us. We won't invade them. It's a very mutually beneficial relationship. Only thing I have to be worried about is, like, is green going to make like a uh, turn one move to completely take over the West Africa region. Their pathing looks a little off to be able to do that. Yeah, it looks like they, they, they'll they still be able to though. Yeah, three. Yeah, so they, they took over the whole region in one move. Pretty damn solid, if you ask me. So green's a little bit of a power player, for sure. But if I can just focus... Okay, purple gets 10 troops. Okay, so if purple's getting 10... No, 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 no. Purple owns Southeastern Europe. What am I thinking? And guys, I'm literally high on happiness right now. That's right, you guys. I'm high on happiness. Let's go! Follow from Mitchell Sinclair, baby. We made it in this world, boys and girls. You don't you don't realize if you haven't followed like a or not. Alright, so now we are getting nine. Our priority now is going to be trying to take over a second continent for ourselves. And hopefully if we can have a second continent, we'll be okay. Like, how many did white get from before? White just got six, so white wasn't holding anything. Now, I could see some people potentially uh, invading us. Ooh, green only gets seven. So that means they have a lot of territory, but they've actually been invaded in their continent down there. So that means someone else is attacking them down in this pocket in uh, West Africa. Okay, so this is good. So now green just up there instead of attacking, even though their capital is down here. Uh, I don't like that move at all by the green player. Possible purple attacked. Purple has 11. So they could do a 12 on 7 on me, but I, I don't think that's a good move. Still so annoyed with blue. Freaking capping. Right there. Like, like why, man? Why? But Mitch, it's cool that you watch me on YouTube and everything, man. You enjoy like the content and all that stuff. Uh, I was super sick. Um, chances white has Italy. All right, that is what it is. We were aggressive trying to hold uh, onto that region. This is why I don't like the generic Alps because sometimes people will just like uh, attack you. And I'm gonna lose these two spots now. Like I don't know what Blue's trying to do. They're just taking way too long unless they're trying to be holding the Orient. But then why not cap in the Orient, like, uh, somewhere, if that's, like, your strategy? At the very least, let's just, uh, hold back our one continent and leave our, our cap a little bit stronger, because it's only on a nine right now. Well, it sucks that we got invaded. I think white invading us was a good move. We were going to get too strong, like, uh, too quickly. 
Now Green is finally holding uh, on to West Africa. So they were able to take over a lot of territory in Scandinavia and retake over their bonus. So Green's now trying to hold this second bonus up here in Scandinavia. So I'm in a position where I'd rather be leaving Green alone and trying to attack the white player a little bit more uh, instead. If white just like hits me again, I'm just going to have to be very aggressive at attacking and weakening white. Because I I think them attacking and breaking my Dinaric Alps continent is very reasonable. Or them breaking Central Europe was reasonable because I was being a bit greedy. Yeah, so white owns Western Europe. And white trades in early. It's possible white was also attacking before because um, they wanted to hold on to that area. So what? So purple. So purple owns southeastern Europe and North Africa. Green is owning West Africa and Scandinavia. White's owning Western Europe. Yeah, green's really good in the way that they've really been kind of putting things down. Like if I leave this like a twelve, this would not necessarily clean out green because green has eight. So I don't think it's really worth it. I think I just it's just better for me to be stabilizing a little bit instead uh, right now. And with people getting bigger capitals and stacks, I don't want people thinking it's worth it to be invading me, especially when I'm not getting a set on four cards. So I'll just have to play this out and then kind of go... Green gets invaded again, okay. So yeah, I don't have this information before, but it looks like people are really attacking green a lot. Purple's now getting 15 a turn. So they have four, seven. What other bonus can purple be having? But it looks like purple was attacking a lot on their move. They're definitely expanding a lot. So white and I are both kind of staying equal. And, like, and while green's getting strong, they're also getting it hit a lot. And they're just trying to manage that. White's not going to allow me to hold a, sen a, a, a second continent either uh, for myself. Possible white is like a weaker cap, but like white's only leaving a couple down. They're probably putting extra on their cap like as well. At the very least, though, we made good enough decisions to make it into the late game. So purple and green are my strongest opponents. White's like average. Pink and blue are weaker opponents. Especially with like a blue choosing to be trading in right now like that's a, that's a mistake right like like what reason do you have to be like a trading in right now there's no reason to be doing that i'm just getting pummeled now because blue chose like to want to go for that region oh hmm well that just happened you guys put some troops here Rest here, and we are absolutely going to yoink that cap away, you guys. Yeah, that, that this is going to be a, uh, a full on yoink right there. Let's go. All right. Okay, that's good. See, blue is weaker. Green's just still getting, still getting 10. Purple may take it, but one cap, but... Very expensive to do so. Like they lose about an average of like 20 troops on that exchange. And like I'll be going after them, right? With like a bigger set trade in. Looking at the timer, it looks like oh, purple's getting 21. Okay, wow. Purple just got expanded way too fast. Purple is, is dominating. They just own the entire board. 30 troops. Yeah, they can actually take my cap now. So we can see purple making a lot of attacks around the board. So they're, they're only this entire bottom half. Do I have to betray a purple now? Cause like they're about to start snowballing. Like, like why is just sitting? Like they're not gonna be doing Jack diddly do. The thing is if I invade um, purple, like I lose my bonus, but on, honestly, if they're getting 21 a turn, that, that just breaks the game like, like fully. So like I have to figure out white, what's getting nine. I think there's probably like one big stack guarding. And if purple's capital is in Greece, I'm only invading one continent. Also, I have bigger problems with blue being like uh, pissed off at me for a uh, good reason. 
So we have to stabilize and make sure blue does not feel inclined to be uh, breaking us at all. Yeah, but purple now owns Orient, North Africa, and Southeastern Europe. We do at least have enough troops to kind of survive like for a while. And it looks like pink is doing a lot with their trade-in and their attack. I don't know who they're going into right now, though. Six. Ah, purple is just rolling with everything right now. So like purple just probably took over the entire Orient. Make me getting close to 30 troops a turn right now. Purple's Elroy Trevetti. Yeah, this, like, your progressive caps is hard, you guys. 32 troops, yep. Purple just snowballed way too fast. I wasn't able to do anything. I, I could have maybe tried taking over again, but, like, what white hit me when I got, got that other continent. So they're going up top there. Are they trying to kill blue? They don't see the 27, though, of the blue player. So is it possible that 27 is all that the, the blue player has left? Because if I can take that out, I can then start going for a walk around the board to try to do some damage to purple. So I think that's blue's last position. So I'm going to risk it, you guys, and try to kill blue. I think it's my only shot uh, in this game. But this is our chance. We got to take out blue now. Especially if blue invades our continent. Yep. Okay, yeah. They lost three. Yeah, we have to just kill blue. All right, here we go. Oh, come on. Blue is another position. Where else can they be? Must be over there. So I have no idea where else blue can be. Unless they're somewhere in southwestern Europe. Like, that's a potential possibility. Southern Europe may have been a possibility as well. Purple's still getting 15 and is pissed off at me because I just broke them everywhere. Because I was just panicking trying to find them. But I don't think we'll die at least because we have 31 territories on the board. But yeah, purple is just going to kill blue now. Yeah, purple is holding blue in an area somewhere. So good. Now they get a double trade in for themselves. Now they get 45 troops. Beautiful play. Now they just rock me. Oh, did they just kill pink now for another trade in? Or they try to kill green? Timer's running out. All right, that's green down. It's so another timer resets again. Oh my god, this purple player just destroyed everything. Now they they got all the kills, and white just gives up. Now, yeah, geez, progressive caps is hard. At least this game was fast. The one thing that I can do here is I can try to go for a kill on white to get another trade in and then try to play this out a bit. So that will help me out. We have to probably break the remaining continents, uh, at least. There we go. All right, purple player. My name is Risk Grandmaster All of XC. I am one of the world's best players in Risk 1v1. I have been incredibly impressed with your skill the entire game. Apparently, you and I have very similar numbers of troops because you used up a lot of them to take out my opponents. 
So you're definitely attacking fast, but I don't know if you're attacking fast uh, enough. I, you need to break all of my continents right now. On your turn, you were getting a total of 15 troops. And I'm getting 40. Okay. Okay, you guys. So we're going to yeet that capital away. And we'll just put all our extra troops down here. Like purple is going to start having some problems. We have no set on four. That's going to be a problem troublesome. But we did get extra troops. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 territories right now. He's also taking too much time to think. Like, you need to go. You need to be going. Was oh, he trying to take that capital from me? I don't like that move. 57 v 41 is not good odds. You need to attack the board and take my other capitals. Oh, that's a huge mistake by the purple player. Oh, this guy was playing so good, you guys. Don't tell me this guy is ch ch choking McChokester right now. Yeah, now I'm getting 54 troops. Like, Jabroski. Jabroski, bro. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, yeet... Okay, I can't yeet another capital from you, unfortunately. You're only getting five a turn. Or, sorry, you're not, you're getting like a little less. So this is my biggest one. Like, you need to be attacking everywhere around the map right now, purple player. But since I have a 44 and one cap, you're not able to take that. Like, I just need to take all of your other capitals away and just make your life harder. You're not using the slider either. Now he's going, but he went too late. Like, I have too much of a lead, and I'm getting a massive troop lead um, on him now when I turn in my set. I'm just going to take away all of his other caps. <sighs> and he gets a great roll. So he's playing it well on that turn, but he's taking still um, way too long. So you need 2.5 times the number of troops to be guaranteeing attacks. So this needs to be around 55. And then we leave the rest here. So purple's still behind. We're still holding the whole board right now. He will be getting the next trade in. Oh, he gets a trade in. Come on. Oh my gosh, this guy's being annoying, you guys. Now he's going to start taking my caps back. And every time I'm hitting him, I'm getting bad rolls. You can see I'm barely positive. When he hits me, he's getting good rolls. Like, look at that. 18 on 15. Okay, this one cap is open. One of these two caps I will be able to take on the next turn, and that will uh, help me out. He has this one continent down here. I will need to break this. I have a 7 on here. 7 on 5 is around 30%. He's thinking about, about what to do. Now he's just attacking uh, a little bit more. Can I have 34 troops. Okay. So now uh, I need to prioritize attacking more. So off cap, I need to be making this... This should be like 98%. Yes. There we go. Good. And now I just go and attack here. I make this like a four. And then we leave the one remaining stack down here like that. So now purple's only getting eight. We're still getting a lot more troops than him. We do have the set now, so that's going to be so important for us, you guys. It looks like Purple is just playing on their phone right now. I think we can take this. Oh man, this is fun! This is really testing my mechanics. Oh, 
All right, 46 troops, and now I'm going to be getting my set. So we just uh, leave a couple troops down on our main locations to make it very, very painful to then be, be taking it out. Then we need to be making this around 38 to get basically almost guarantee like that attack there. Then we leave some here, and this should allow us to uh, break through everything. Okay, okay you guys, now purple's down to only getting five, and they're down to this uh, one location here. So now we just gotta take out that one spot, and we're gonna be able to take this game. Purple, though, you're really good. It's just like the 1v1 endgame on Europe Advance is very, very challenging. I didn't realize you lost so many troops taking everyone out. Like, you got the sweep off of everybody. So I think I can just uh, take the cap now at this point, you guys. And let's and his go! Name is John C. Thank you! That was the best time to be doing that sound alert. This is Olive XC signing off.